and blessings be granted to all my brothers and sisters out here in this world in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. We also call our Lord Jesus Christ. A thousand blessings be upon to all my brothers and sisters out there. All glory given to the Most High Yah. Blessed be his name. Blessed be his strength. Blessed be his glory. Blessed be his honor. Blessed be his integrity. For he is a great God and there is none other. He is the God of all God. The God of all creations. So you know I have to ask my brothers and sisters to let him in family. Let him in family. Let him be the king over your life. Let his rule take dominion over your actions in your life. To be truly blessed family. Now, if we have a, if we have enough time, family, we will go back into into deep studies. But today I'm not saying that I'm taking a break or anything like that, but I just want to in, infuse you with these scriptures for this week because I want my brothers and my sisters out there. I want your state of mind to humble Humble yourself. Do you know how hard it is for some people to humble themselves? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, with the spiritual gifts that God gives us, okay, from what he told me, from what Yah told me, that they won't go away, family. They won't go away. But at the same time, some of the spiritual gifts that he gives us, and, and, and when I say spiritual gift, family, it can be numerous amounts of things. Some people's spiritual gift is their money. So you look at Michael Jordan and Master P and you look at Beyonce and Jay-Z, all them people that have hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Family, they only spiritual gift is for them to give family. That's the only thing that they spiritual gift entails. What do you mean, Jehosa? She don't she don't have the gift. She, Oprah can't speak tongues, family. You know what I'm saying? I don't see Master P interpreting no dreams, family. I, I don't see him doing anything like that. So money, family. And from what your father said, his spiritual gifts last forever. Now, some people's spiritual gift is their beauty, family. As simple as it is, family, they probably have a couple more gifts that shine, family. But the one token that they are riding out on right now is their beauty, family. And that same beauty right there that would cause them. Well, you know, I look so good. I'm so damn fine. Uh, you know, you know, all the girls be looking at me. They all want my numbers. Now, that man right there, just by his beauty. It's not going to let him be humble, family. The sister up over there. I'm so fine. I'm so cute. All the guys want my number. They want, they want me. They want me. Okay. This this is true. They, they want her. You know what I'm saying? But that same gift that the Lord has given her is enough not to make herself humble, family. That woman is going to sit there and think about her beauty all day long. She ain't, <laughs> she ain't worried about nothing else. Family is how can she get her hair done? How can she get her nails done? How many how many different cakes of, of makeup she going to put on her face? That brother up over there, he just came back from the gym. Now he's going to the barber. Now he's going to go get a fit. He That fit ain't good enough for him. He needs something else. They're always trying to improve the attributes of the gift that God has already given them. But, and it doesn't make any sense. And their whole mind is focused on it. Some people gift is they, they smartness. They had never humble themselves to people because like, oh, nah, Joey, you a dummy. You a dumb. You don't know what you're talking about. I learned family. I learned over the Sabbath weekend family amongst all things that was brought into remembrance by the most high. Yah. throw your hands in the air for, you know, you are blessed by Yah, the great God of the heavens and the earth family. I was reminded over over this weekend that knowledge looks can be deceiving family it really can family you can look at somebody from the outside looking in and you be like oh they don't know nothing <laughs> you judging you judging you judging but it's true family you look at some people you be like oh they don't they, they don't know nothing like that but then when they open their mouth and you see all of that abundance of knowledge in that starts sprilling forth like free water family you know what i'm saying like gushing out of the, the the fountains of life and you sit there and you look at that person and you'd be like i would have never expected that you to know that much knowledge i i, I didn't even think that 
you would know half of the things at the 99 cent store. You know what I'm saying? You judging, you judging. I'm just saying, family, I'm just saying he gives his wisdom and his knowledge to anybody. And those of us that you would think that that's not smart in God, they're they're the most smartest family. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, family. So then it's hard. It's hard for people to humble themselves. It, it could be money. It could be fortune. It could be fame. It could be looks. It could be strength. A lot of these things will cause a man or a woman not to humble themselves against someone else. And if you can't humble yourself to God, children, how would you ever be able to humble yourself before the most high Yah, the great God of the heavens and the earth? How would you be able to do that? So in this week, family, I just want to hit your mind with these with these scriptures, family. And am I taking stuff out of content? I don't think I am. Am I sticking regular to precept upon precept? It may be for this day, but it's more important for me to give you the scripture for you to think about it, family. Remember, the word is given into you for it to grow, family. It's not going nowhere when I give it to you now. You can try to chop that down out of you. You know what I'm saying? You could try to burn it. You could try to set it on fire. But if you're a child of, of Yah, it's going to grow, family. It's going to be a part of you. Like I told you with his laws, his statutes, his commandments, his limitation. That's me, family. That's my life, family. I'm not sitting over here saying that I'm the most high Yah, but his laws of his statutes, of his commandments, of his limitation, that is my life. I claim them to be my own as the person that I am. Am I saying that I'm God? No, I'm not. But I am telling you, I'm going to do as he wants me to do. How, forget how Jehoshaphat Israel, forget how I think. That doesn't matter. What does God want me to think about? You know, my feelings and how they, I'm caught up in my feelings. I'm feeling some kind of, that doesn't matter, family. Throw all that away, family. How does Yah want you to feel about it? And it's all in the scriptures. Like a lot of people, they get disgusted. They be like, you know, I don't want to hear that from Yah. As soon as, soon as the word is given to him, whatever it, is, what it was said, now, I'm not saying that that brother and that sister are living contrite and that contrite spirit against the most high. Yah, but his word cuts down the people's soul like a knife family. I'm about to cut your family. You thought I was just going to give you a hamburger and some French fries and a spiritual soft drink and sit you on your way. No, 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 my brothers and sisters. I got out my spiritual sword. And I'm about to cut you. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to cut you straight to the heart. But once more again, your brother Israel, I do not come to offend anyone, family. I, I don't want you to be in this life. I'm your brother. I can say it. This is a way. Of, this is a way. They'd be like, you religious. You. This is how I live my life. You know what I'm saying? This is a way of life, family. This is not, I'm not religious, family. I am spiritual, family. If you could take it by you reading your scriptures and it changing your life and turning you into another being, you better say that you are spiritual, family. So I don't I don't want you to let Yah's gifts turn your heart or turn your mind away from being humble, family, to humble yourselves before the eyes and, and women of men that live upon this earth. Now, I can automatically tell you right off the, the top, if you try to humble yourself. People going to laugh at you. They're going to mock you. They're going to scorch you. They're going to ridicule you. They're going to look at you so ridiculous in the things like like you're the oddball, like you're like something's wrong in what you're doing. But you living in a world to where like your brother has preached and gospel to your spirit so many different times before that people we don't need no fake images of God when people have made themselves the God. We don't need no golden calf when Billy up over there and he's the damn calf. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't need no calf when Tatiana up over there, she's the damn calf. She praises her own self. This is the day and era that you live in. That's why people are so damn violent. That's why you see them and they wanted it so so quick to argue about it. They want to argue about it. So quick to argue, so quick to fight. Family, I don't want you like that. Family, I want you to walk away. Family, just walk away. Family, who do you care more about? Family, who do you? Family, them people, they you you at, you at the Walmart, they screaming and they yelling. Do you know you can just walk away? <laughs> you at the stoplight, brother. And they looking all crazy. Do you know you could just drive off? You, you know that, right? You ain't got to get out your car. You ain't got to fuss with these people. You ain't got to argue with these people. Because when you do, that is when you give in. I don't want you to care about what they think. 
uh, the terminology and the life that they live in to where this is the display of their actions to where they feel that there is nothing wrong with this family. This is a normality of how they are living their lives, family. So much hate, family. So much things festered up inside of them. And here you come and you're going to give them the damn release. You hear me, sister? You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to fight all them damn chicken heads at the what you call it. You just gave them chicken heads the release. You know what I'm saying? They walk around, ah, 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 just like they damn daddy. Ha, ha, I just want to fight. I just want to choke somebody. I just want to slap somebody. I'm just having a horrible damn day. Ah, 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 can I, can I make the day so horrible too? I want to put some of my horrible in your... Family, you ain't got to give in to all of that. Family, you can just walk off. Family, half of the people, they ain't going to listen to their brother Jehosa because they're going to be sitting up over there talking about, oh, Jehosa, I'm tough. I'm a man, Jehosa. I'm a man. I'm going to stand up on my brother. Brother, who are you trying to prove something to? Do you care more about what them people think about you? They are not Yah. They are not the great God of heavens. They don't have no blessings. They probably have some curses, but they don't have no blessings, family. They, they, they're not able to put a blessing in your pocket. They can't do that, family. They cannot cover you with his mercy when all of that bad stuff was going to be happening to you next week, the week after next week. They don't got it, family. They don't have none of the good favor that you need to get through in this life, family. All them places that you be going and all the things that you're trying to accomplish in this life, that takes Yah's favor on your life for you to be able to proceed through the light, family. Family, they ain't got no blessings to give you. They ain't got no mercy. Family, they can't do a miracle with their hands, family. They don't have no great signs and wonders. They don't have no healing hands, family. They don't have no, no prosperity that the great God, Yah, and, and Zion, he could just <sighs> blow all that prosperity on you, family. All they got is hot air full of curses for you. You do not have to give in to that, my brother. You don't even have to care about it, family. If you could take it upon yourself to look at that person in the and in their eyes, family. Look at the dragon in his eyes, family. Look at that she devil in her eyes and say, I don't care. And go on about your business, brother. Go on about your business, sister. That will enrage that person because they know they just lost, family. They it won't be no transferring of energy on nothing. There will not be no release, family. It's not even a transfer of energy. They you got mad, they mad. Then you then they got you mad. Then they transferred yo they damn energy on you. Now you acting like that? No, brother. We won't even family. We're not even giving them a chance to get a release. After they didn't yell and scream and cussed all in your face and you done got used to it. And now you cussing. But now they release. Now they can go home and sleep good. No, family. I don't even have to say, oh, hell no, nah, but no, family, we're not giving in to that this week, family. We're going to kill them with the compassion, family. Our Lord wants us to be humble, family. You already know last week I told y'all, family, it's all about charity. Last week, a gentle, meek spirit all last week, family. But this is just some more that your father had put on my plate, family, because he wants us to humble ourselves. A lot of people is incapable of being humble, family. They, they cannot do that, family. And they're going to look at you strange. They're going to be talking all of that smack. But you're going to have to stay planted, stay rooted on the road that you are headed on. Family, to be blessed in this life. Your father wants to bless you, family. He does, family. He can only do so much for those who are not willing, family. He can only do so much, family. If you're willing to be willing all the way and, and go 100% the way with him in the ways that he wants you to walk, he wants you to talk, he wants you to think, and he wants you to feel, then he'll be able to open the doors of heaven and usher in all them blessings on your life. But you're going to have to give in, family. Them people walking around that they can't humble themselves, family. I'm going to tell you right now, family, they are no different than a, than a, uh, I don't want to say wheat, but what is it called, family? Thorns and bristles? That's not it. Crab, crab, crab grass, family. They just like, they just like crab grass, family. You go to the store, you, you, it, it, if you don't catch it real quick, it'll spread, family. It'll spread all over your regular grass. We ain't having it, family. You go down to the orchard supply store, you get some of that weed kill stuff, kills all the the, the, crab, the crab grass, family. They like bad weeds, family. Well, we all know what's gonna happen to a weed, family. It's gonna grow up. It'll probably choke the life out of other things that surround it, make it all look all ugly. But eventually, it dies, family. It dies and it 
and it get carried. I don't want to say carried away, but it is get carried. It might as well be bundled up and thrown into the fire, family, because it doesn't last a long time, family. It does not. It has a lifespan. And then the next time you look at that weed, that's some people, family, they are incapable of being humble, family. I'm telling you, they're like bad weeds that is in the ground, family. They're here today, family. They look ugly and eventually they're going to be gone, family, because God has already appointed. There is only so much evil that he will allow any man or any woman to do in a lifetime. Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, can you explain, brother? I, brother, brother Jehoshaphat, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't hear that. I didn't understand what you mean. You can only do so much evil, my brother. Do you hear me, my sister? You know what I'm saying? It's only so much evil that you're gonna do before he gonna judge you on it, and then you are gonna die, family. Now, me, your brother Israel. Family, I've been on this earth for a long time and I done watched a lot of people die, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm just to be honest with you, family. And you know, the Most High Yah, he has put his fear in me ever since I was a little boy. So I can tell you, family, I can tell you the truth, family. I've been fearing Yah for a long time, family. And so many of these different people, they they are incapable of showing that humility. But that's the same thing that they're going to need if they're going to if they're going to have a vibrant life, family. It's only so much evil that you you could do good forever, family. You can, family. There's no no limit to how much good that you can do possibly in a day. But there is a limit to how much evil that you can do in a day is a limit to how much evil that you can do in your life before he cuts you off, family, straight up, family. It'd be like, Joey, he could have had lived till he was 80, but he's been doing evil ever since he was 10, so he died at 40. There's, there's a limit, family, of how much evil that the Most High Yah will let you give into. And this same evil prohibits people from being kind, prohibits them from being sweet, prohibits them from having joy of spirits in their heart, family. And it's a damn shame, family. It is a damn shame. So I don't I don't want my brothers and sisters to fall down that that lot. I don't want you to, to go down that road. I don't want you to be caught up in that bad weather, family. I don't want you to do all of that. And I want you to live, family, and to be joyous. But to live the way that the Lord wants us to live, we have to come out the mindset of the things that you see on the TV, the things that you hear on the radio, the stuff that you see in the mag magazines, the stuff that you hear on the radio, the, the, the advertisements that you see on the billboards all the way all through your cities and your towns where you live at, that, that the malevolent attitude that's so prevalent, and I don't want to just call them haters, but those void of love. We have to separate ourselves from those type of peoples, from those actions, from those thoughts, from those state of actions of how we portray ourselves in the things that we do, family. Do you hear me, my brother? Do you hear me, my sister, to come out the ways that you were programmed and you were given and it's so accustomed. It comes like a second nature to fall up into the, the entrapment of the world, family. It's, it, for me to go outside and start acting like them other Hebrews, that it, it's like a light. It could be cut on really fast, family. So I'm asking you, family, turn off that switch and come out of that world, family. We're trying to live our life to be fruitful in this to the full fullness that you can live like. And the only way that you can live is to have joy. Family, they are void of any joy, love and compassion, peace, anything like that, because they are not willing to humble themselves, family. You looked at the corner of your eye. You seen a mean mug in you. Why? Because he don't have any joy. Yeah, she's sitting up at the light and her face is all turned up. Family, she's not sweet at heart. Family. At <laughs> but Jehoshaphat, maybe they're just going through it. Jehoshaphat, family, you done seen her like that like five days out the week, family. There's no sweetness of the heart, family. I'm, I'm telling you. You seen your, the boy down the street. You seen the man down the street, head all turned up, looking all mean and stuff. He did that five days a week. He doesn't have any meekness of his heart, family. We have to step away from the society that we was raised up in. If you're going to love God the way that you that he wants to be loved, if you're going to cherish him the way that he wants to be cherished, you're going to have to step away of how you see those people acting. And they didn't make that popular family. They have that stank funk attitude, family. 
I don't know if you know this. Have you seen them promoting it on Facebook? Seen them promoting it on YouTube? Have you seen it, family? That stank funk attitude that you know that God does not like, family, and then they think it's cute, family. They got our little kids doing it, acting like it. Oh, we supposed to be like this. Well, you know exactly what I'm talking about, family. That that kid is too young to actually have an attitude like that. But that same attitude that that parent has was given to them. By their parent, now the child has it, now, they, now they're both acting like that. The same attitude. You know what I'm talking about, family. That is not going to be, that's not going to be, you're not going to be able to walk up in heaven with that. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? If, if the Lord said that I want you to have love and mercy and compassion, what is that, family? That same attitude got people fighting all in the street, all down at the McDonald's. All the, family, I drive down the street, I see weave everywhere, family. That's that attitude that got people losing their damn mind, family. I want you to step away and get a blank slate, family. And only on this new blank slate of your life, family, we got new tablets, family. Moses just came down off the mountain, family. I'm giving you some, some new tablets, family. We're going to write in this tablets on our heart, family. Love, 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 kindness, compassion, meekness, family. All on those tablets, family, to empower us, family. That's, that's a sense of power, family. Them tablets that you wrote, well, you know, yeah, I'm going to be loving more, yeah. That's power, my brother, that you just put on the tablets of your heart. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to be more kind, yeah. I'm going to show more love. My sister just wrote that on the tablets of her life, and it empowered her, family, unlike the, the weakness that she had the day before because she was all caught up in this world. She was caught up on how to look, how to act, how to talk, how to walk, how to please the people, how to, how to look like them, how to act like them, how to get over. She was caught up in, my brother was caught up in all of that. And he just got that blank sleep, that blank slate that he just wrote to the most high. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be kind. Yeah, I'm going to be meek. Yeah, I'm going to be loving. And that empowered my brother not to even view the world that he sees outside anymore, family. So it's a powerful thing, family. It's a very powerful thing. If you're able, family, if you're able to take it upon yourself and to humble yourself, family, to humble yourself before the, the sons and daughters of man, family. So let's go ahead and get into scriptures for today. Right off the top, family, it, it, in the book of James, chapter four, verse 10, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. Family, now you've been wondering why they so mean and they so evil and they, they ratchet family, they ratchet family. You know who I'm talking about. And I'm not just talking about them Hebrews down the street. I'm talking about the ones that's in your family. Now, you've been wondering why they live the roughest lives, because. If God is not lifting you up, he's going to make sure he kick you down, family. I'm just saying, family, if you have one good leg and you had a peg leg, the most high yard knocked that peg leg right under your foot and you're going to be on the ground, family. And once more again, he doesn't take any joy in these things, family, for it is the principles that he has already put out on the world. Now he just get to watch it, family. He get to watch you go against his law and then his law of his statue Gonna come back through the judgment and bite you, family. Bite that leg smooth off, family. Knock that leg smooth up out of you. Kick the kick the air right out your chest, family. Set you straight on fire, family. He doesn't take a pleasure on watching these things happen to anybody, family. He it doesn't. It, he would be more happier for you to make it to heaven. But if you don't, that's on you, family. You know what I'm saying? He gave you a choice of a chance of an option to do the right thing. Now you've been looking, you've been looking, you've been like wondering, you've been like, man. I seen, I seen Joe. Joe was up. You know what I'm saying? He was doing good. He just bought that car. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about he had a couple more payments on his house. He cool. They was talking about going to the islands. But Joe never humbled himself. Joe never wanted to show compassion. Joe never wanted to have a meek spirit. And the Most High Yah knocked him down, family. Now he's not doing all of that stuff no more. And it's harder for him in life, family. So all those outside of the will of the Most High Yah, of the word of the Most High Yah, you can better believe that they will be knocked down. Now, me, family, I humble myself. I go into places, you know, already family, I'm, I'm, I, I do my best to view people 
and uh, the kind heart that I would treat my family. So I'm kind to everybody, family. I'm meek to everybody because I know for a certainty I don't want to be on some high hill and then y'all come down and kick me down the hill, family. I, I don't family. Do you know it's down the hill, family? It's all kind of rocks and jagged edges. Then it drops off into a, a, a ravine, family. You don't want that, family. You know what I'm saying? You want to stay on the top of the mountain, family, the whole time. The other people, they look good on the outside, but eventually they're going to get kicked down that mountain, family. They're going to go rolling down that damn hill. And by the time they make it down there, they're going to be cut up, family, cut up family just by them not humbling the principle of the law of the statue already went across the earth what was the law stat what was the law that you got to humble yourself what was the limitation you got to humble yourself that what was the judgment god gonna y'all's gonna lift you up if you humble yourself you know what I'm saying? What was the judgment? You know what I'm saying? God is going to knock you down if you don't humble yourself. So once more again, what did the scripture say? Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Family, you need to be lifted up, family. It's going to be points and times in your life where it's going to be hard, family. And you're going to need to be lifted up. Them other people, they're not going to be lifted up, family. They're going to be kicked down the hill, family. This is a point in time in your life where you're going through a lot of different things and you cannot handle all these things by yourself. You cannot handle all these things without Yah's intervention on your life. You need divine, inter spiritual, inter you need his hands, family. You need the most high Yah hands to come down and save you, family, to give you mercy, family, to shield you, family, of all them deadly weapons that was already forged up against you family but most people they, they it's all about me it's all about me it's all about my gold it's all about my jewelry it's all about my shoes it's all about my jacket it's all about my hair it's all about me they're not gonna take it upon themselves to humble to humble themselves before anyone. So you tell me in this in this junction, when it comes down, when when they're getting knocked down and they need that lifting hand, they need that help. They need that help, family. There's no help to be found, family. Why is that? Because they were unable to humble themselves, family. Moving forward. You can go to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. But... To be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. That's how our Lord wants us to be, family. He wants us to be patient, family. Patient, family. Gentle, family. Look out, look at look at the people, family. Next time you go to the drive-thru or you in the store, family, look at all them people that got an attitude that's messing with the cashier. They're impatient. <laughs> All the smack that they sitting there talking and lying. You tell me right now, do they know the Lord, family? You tell me right now if they're following what God wants them to do, family. They picking fights all up in the store with the manager and the supervisor and talking all of that smack when they should just be sitting there like everybody else waiting a damn time. But no, they're not bearing with their brother and sister and, and being patient. Um, examining the situation, knowing that they're going to have to have the integrity of their heart and to show love. They're not going to do all of that, family. They're the same ones that's in the store. You'd be like, man, I can't wait to get out this store so I can get away from this person complaining and moaning and griping. And that's all they got all single day, family. What did, the, what did the Lord say in Ephesians? Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. So now you know, family, all them people that's so short-tempered with you, and they don't even give you a chance, my brother. They don't even give you a chance, my sister. They're not following what you are following. Yah's law, statute, commandments, and his limitations on the way we're supposed to carry forth our life. Once more again, it's not on how we think. It's not on how we feel. It's on what Yah said and what he will do, family. That's the only thing that matters. It's not what we think or what we feel. We're going to do what he said to do. It doesn't matter what I think or how I feel. What did he say? What did the word say that we should carry ourselves as, family? And once more again, you are opening up the door for God to lift you up in your darkest hours. You're going to have some dark hours, brother. Sister, you're going to have some... You gonna <laughs> 
<laughs> I started this. I started yesterday morning. I was telling your father, yeah, I was all like, father, I'm, I'm already in trouble. I don't need no more problems. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm already in trouble. I don't need no problems, family. Everybody is already in trouble. We don't need to make no problems for our own selves. And these are those individuals, family, because they going to need that hand to reach down in the darkness to lift them up, family. Hey, family, family, let's put it like this. Yah does so much. God, what you call him? The, the Most High Yah, he does so much in a day's time, family. It's so many different situations where people can lose their life. Family, just by you getting in your car, driving down the street, the hand of God is on your life. I'm not playing with you, family. Do you know how many accidents and cars happen each day? And God let you and your family get in your car and go down and handle your own business? It's so many different times to where his hand is on us in our lives. It's too many different situations. Could you imagine if you could slow down time just so you could see that that angel intervening in your life, helping you in that time. You didn't even see it. Most of us don't even see it, family, because it's too many times that he comes down to save us daily, family, daily, family. It just be it, it's so amazing. If God didn't save you from all of that stuff that you didn't see last week, you wouldn't even be here right now or you will be sitting up on a damn stretcher. He is too good to us that love him, that worship him, that honor him, that adore him him. He's too good to us for us to, to deny his greatness on the things that he has done for us in our life. Once more again, Ephesians chapter chapter four, verse two, be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. Fa sister, 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 look at all of them so-called homegirls that they ain't got no love for you like that, because if they had love for you, they would have patience for you. They don't have no patience for you. And they and they so eager to push you away. They're so eager to get you out the door. They're so eager not to listen to the things that you are telling them, even though they're things that's going to help them. Even though you're trying to help the poor girl, she doesn't understand because she doesn't walk with humility. She doesn't have a sweet, kind, gentle spirit. She has none of these things, family. So I want you to be aware. At the same time, family, we must be bearing, bearing with the, if you love, if you have love in yourself, you're going you to hear them out at least, family going to hear them out, what they talking about, what they are saying. But all of those who are not listening to you, my brother, he get all mad. He want to fight. He want to argue. Why, brother? What, what did the scripture say? Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Is that not what the Lord told us, family? Is that not what the Lord told us to do? Then why are they not acting like that? See, you know, your brother, I, I, I'm just like my Lord family. I come to bring the sword of division family. I don't want to see you with them wicked people. And I do not care that that's your auntie. I do not care that that's your uncle. I don't care that that's your brother. I don't even care that that's your mama. I don't care family because if they are wicked, they are wicked. There's, there's no change in that. And what your brother is always telling you. If they in trouble with Yah, you gonna be in trouble with Yah too. So you better separate yourself from them people, family. But now you know, you will never find no peace with them people. Why, Jehosa? Why? Because they are sorting their authority of hatred all over you, and they're not gonna give you a chance to hear you out. But why, Jehosa? Why? Because they're not humble. Jehosa, Jehosa, why she won't listen to me, Jehosa? Because she's not gentle, sister. She's not patient. Look at her. Look how she acting. Why she acting like that for? Why she get all mad like that all fast for? Over something that doesn't mean anything, that doesn't stand for anything, and is not improving anybody. Why she, why she blow her damn lid, family? Why she blow her damn lid over something that means nothing? Does it sound like somebody that's going to be patient to you or even hear you out? Okay, moving forward. If you can go down to Proverbs. Uh, okay, family. Okay, my bad. My bad. I, I'm not even going to let you pull out your Bible because uh, when, I, when, when I was writing this study, I was all over the place. You know what I'm saying? I was all over the place. So you don't even have to pull out your, your word, family. Just listen, family. Now, if you listen to the show and you went back, then you could probably get it. But I don't want you being concerned with grabbing your Bible right now because there's too many different places. And... 
I don't want to get you confused and I don't want to lose you, family. I don't want to. Oh, Jehoshaphat, Ephesians. Uh, damn it, Jehoshaphat. We in church now, Jehoshaphat. You act like my damn pastor, Ephesians. And moving up, brother, you ain't even. Sister, don't even worry about it. <laughs> don't even worry about it. Just listen. Now, if you can go down. Oops, see? See? I'm prone, family. If you can go down. I'm prone to, to read his words. So I'm going to sound like that, but you don't have to do that necessarily. Now, if you can. Turn to the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. Now, I already I told you, family, that it's only so much wickedness that a man can do, family. It, now, with the, the, the same, I don't want to say brash attitude that they carry, but the pride, family, the pride. There's only so much pride that you can have before your downfall, family. What did the scripture say again? When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. So given in a sense, it's only so much pride that the person is going to be able to display before Yah disgrace them openly between the people. So you can you can see that sister. She's so prideful. He's so Excuse me. He's so prideful. He don't care. He don't care about nobody feeling. She don't care. She don't give a damn about nobody else. She got her nose all stuck up. He got his face all turned up. It's only so much time that they can be like that before they are disgraced in in the eyes of the sons and daughters of man. So you see him. You see him down the street. Next time you see them, they getting arrested. You know what I'm saying? They just got disgraced. You know what I'm saying? You see them today. Now you heard something on Facebook. Now it's some rumors being talked about them. They just got disgraced, family. It's only so much that a man or a woman can do in pride before they are disgraced. So you can look at this law of this judgment of this limitation because you have been warned the people they've been warned you know what i'm saying you can look at it and think that it won't but in in, in all actuality they only have there's actually a time span only like she started off monday being prideful he started off thursday being prideful by the end of that month they're gonna be disgraced so this is the curse that you get from having pride on you you will be disgraced in the public family to me it's not even worth it it's not having all them people in your business over you having your face turned to the wind thinking that you're better than everybody i i don't think that's worth it family i i really don't you know what i'm saying and you seen when david was disgraced he was disgraced amongst the people family and through all out the people they knew david business and that's some business that he didn't want nobody to know about family now everybody got something on him and he don't have nothing on nobody else besides from the things that they know about him that should be his damn business family so if if you want to be prideful just know that the day of your disgrace is soon approaching. It's only so much time before all them people at your jobs, you gonna, they're going to be marching you off in, in handcuffs. You know what I'm saying? Your boss put the fire. He just walked up to you. Uh, Tanisha, get the hell out of here. You're fired. You know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of here. You're fired. Disgrace in the eyes of man. So I don't. Me personally, your brother Jehoshaphat Israel, I don't think it's worth it, family. I don't I don't think that it is worth it for me to sit here and be prideful and then have have all this bad stuff happen to me to me to be knocked down just because I want to lift my own self up. Nah, family. I'm humble, family. I want you to stay humble, family. I want you to stay with love, family. I want you to have that. Now, Last month, we was talking about enacting a righteous judgment. I want you to enact a righteous judgment in your on your love or your charity, family, or your heart of being meek, family. I truly want you to. You know your brother. I bless you a thousand times in Yeshua HaMashiach name. Throw your hands in the air to Yah, for he is the God of glory. Okay, moving forward. So what did, what did the scripture say? When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. If you can humble yourself, family, you will be able to get family. You're not just going to rush in there. You know what I'm saying? You're going to rush in there. I know what the hell I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. You're going to sit back and you're going to reflect on what's going on so you can have a proper judgment. You know what I'm saying? A proper judgment on what you what you surveying, family. What, what are you seeing, family? What is going on, family? 
if you be up if you be prideful family you're not going to be able to make a, a good judgment on it family and you're going to have a bad outcome on the decision that you should have had made you're not going to make that choice because you never took it's a time to yourself to to humble yourself and not be prideful and think it so fast and so hard that you're going to have a better outcome family if you can just have that humility in your spirit family that's going to be the great the great things that happen to us through the great choices that we make family I tell you right now, family, we put our own self in trouble, family. Ain't nobody putting nothing. The devil in there, has, has God put you in trouble? I tricked you. I tricked Family, it's us doing all of that, family. You, you got to own up, family. You, you have to own up to this, family. So many people, I lost them. They don't understand. They don't know what you talking about, Jehovah. Uh, my granddaddy taught me to be this way, and this is how I'm going to be, Jehovah. Well, you're going to be disgraced, and you're going to be knocked down. Uh, Jehovah, my mama told me to have this attitude, and this is how I am, Jehovah. And ain't no change. Well, get ready to be disgraced, and get ready to be knocked down, because it's going to happen to you. Okay, moving forward. If you can go down to the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 16, live in harmony with one another. Do not be pride, but be willing to associate with people of low positions. Do not be conceited. So you see them people, they they conceited. They, they are not going to associate with nobody that is beneath them. That sister over there, she okay, they work at the same place. Sister, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? She she got to go to pay less because it's hard times. You know what I'm saying? It's hard times. She got she don't got that designer stuff on. You know what I'm saying? But she got a good spirit and a good heart. Other girl up over there, she's not going to mess with her because of what her her outwardly opinion, her outwardly of what she looks like on the outside. Family, she's not going to take the time out. Well, you know, I go get my hair done at what you call it. Cost me one hundred and fifty dollars. I get my nails done. It cost eighty dollars. She ain't got no eighty dollar nails on your So I'm not associating with her. See, that's that's judging family. I give everybody an equal opportunity to show me they they kindness or the hatred. Everybody has an equal opportunity on my love. They really do. I try, family. But I'm not going to start. I'm not going to. Oh, well, I'm not going to be Billy friend because Billy can't afford no Reeboks. I'm not going to do that, family. Oh, I'm not going to be Billy's friend because he stay in the projects. I'm not going to do that, family. Oh, I, I, I'm not going to be Billy friend because he can't afford no, no good clothes. I'm not going to do that, family, at all, family, at all, family. What did the scripture say? Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proudful, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. I tell you right now, all them Instagram models and all them people taking all them, 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 them facey. What, what was it called? Facies. I know. It was, what was it called? You know what I'm talking about. All of them, all of them people that they take all these damn pictures of themselves and they put it up and then, okay, you see them, you see them on their little show and they ain't got no heart and they ain't got no love and they all conceited and all stuck up. This is what, you judge it, you judge it, you judge it, you judge it, Joseph. I know I'm not. That's what the Lord said. He said he don't want us to be conceited. He said that he wanted us to be in harmony with everybody. He said that he doesn't want me to have a prideful heart looking down at anybody of a lower position. It just don't have to be a position. It could just be somebody that they're not as doing as good as you, family. I'm just saying the brother, he's seven feet tall. The other brother, five feet. He ain't going to mess with him because he ain't tall enough, family. This is what I'm talking about, family. You know what I'm saying? The other girl up over there. She she just moved into town. She ain't even got nobody, but they're not going to associate with her because they think they better than her. He does not want us to have these attitudes. If you can do what the Lord is telling you, you will be blessed by you becoming friends, by you opening your heart to those people outside of those. You're, you're opening up a blessing for your own self of kindness and meekness to overtake you. It's all on his favor, family. So all them good things that be happening to a person, all of that was something that they work for. All that good stuff that was given to the mother people, we know that the Lord reigns on the just and the unjust. They're not gonna, they're not gonna keep it, family. He gave them all of that stuff so they could turn to him. Just by them getting it, that made them for more farther apart from him, family. So I'm telling you, family, you gonna be blessed, family, to humble yourself, family. Uh, family, I love all people, family. 
all people. I love my people more because I'm supposed to, family, because this is what God made me. He put me here on this earth as a as a so-called black man for to reach his people, family, just like to help his people, all of that, family. That is my job. That, that that's my nationhood. You know what I'm saying? That's what God directly you. I made you a white person, help the white people. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just straight up, family. Okay, just because he made oh boy a Mexican to, to love the Mexican people doesn't mean he's not supposed to love everybody else too. I love everybody, family. That love God. I do not like evil people. I don't like evil black people. I don't like evil white people. I don't like evil Mexican people. I do not like a evil Asians. Family. I don't like no evil people, family. None, family at all, family. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, we did. We talked about Romans. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be pride. Be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Okay, let's go now to Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Your beauty should not come from outwardly adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold, jewelry, of fine clothes, whether it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which of great worth in God's sight. So if you can be gentle, if you can have a meek spirit, you look, you're looked at to God, family, as like pure gold or something, family. You're like a treasure chest walking around, family. I, I don't, I hate to take us off a topic, but I just have to say this to get it off my chest. Family, for all the people in the world that said that they ain't never seen a miracle and they ain't never seen a blessing, they, they say, for instance, they be like, well, you know, Jehoshaphat, I ain't never seen no great signs and no great wonders. I ain't never seen no miracles. I ain't never seen no blessing. I'll tell you right now, family, that you are a blessing and you are a miracle. You, you, you are a blessing and you are a miracle. I just want you to think about it. I want you to think about it, family. I just want you to think about it. You are a blessing and you are a miracle, family. For anything that we have or anything that we are, family, it, it can be gone tomorrow, family. It does not have to be, family. We take honor in the day that the Lord has given us life, family. Every single day that I wake up, I feel like I want a million dollars, family. And it's a damn shame that people, they'd be like, well, you know, Jehosa, well, you know, I'm 35, brother. And, you know, I can't go out there and I can't do that stuff. But brother, you 35 years old and you alive. You got time, brother. Go out there and do that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Get your stuff together. Oh, I don't know about going to school, Jehosa. I'm too old now, Jehosa. You know, I, he, Jehosa, I wish I could start my life all over again back when I was 20 years old. Sister, you got time now. Get yourself up. And go out there and get whatever you're trying to do. You are blessed. You know what I'm saying? You got time now. They, they be looking at their life. They be like, oh, well, I wish I would have knew this when I was younger. You still got time now to do it now. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you're trying to do, my brother, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, my sister, the time is now because he didn't gave you the time. You look at back at your past like, oh, I could have did this. Oh, I could. It wasn't your time to do all of that stuff. Now is the time to do all that stuff now. Can I get a Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jehoshaphat. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah, Jehoshaphat. Okay, moving. What was we at? We was at Peter. Your beauty should not come from out outwardly uh, adornments. Them people can't stay up out the store buying stuff, family. They can't. Family, 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 family. What did the Lord say, family? Just because you look good on the outside doesn't mean that you're good on the inside. They more worried about the outside appearance. How do people going to look at me? Oh, you know, I got to have this. Well, you know, I got to have them pants. Them pants cost $500. Oh, no. you I, I, I don't get no socks and no payless. My, my socks got to cost $30 and got a Nike sign on it. They more worried about the outside. Oh, you know, I got to get my hair done. I got to get my nails done. I got to get my makeup just right. I gotta get my makeup just where I go. I gotta put my dress on. Ooh, I look so damn good. I look better than you. I look better than you, girl. This is what they think. God doesn't want us to look. God don't care about what clothes you put on your body. Let me say it to you again, family. God doesn't care about any clothes that you put on your body. Unless that you a man and you trying to dress like a woman or you a woman trying to dress like a man and you get my gist, you understand. You ain't supposed to be doing that. But God doesn't care about what you put on your body. You know, he's more worried about what you got in your heart, family. Them people think that, okay, okay, okay. 
when they go get dolled up and they get all fancy, family, it makes you feel good. I'm not going to take that away from anybody, family. It makes you feel damn good. But you should not take that feeling that you feel when you put on them brand new clothes and that's how you are, family. Uh-uh, family. Yah is more worried about the, your inner self, your inner man, your inner woman, the beauty that is inside of your heart. Then people think that they can get dolled up and the inside of themselves is still dirty than a, 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 a filthy rag, family. Family, I'm just saying they got clean clothes on, family, but inside of their heart, family, they got filthy, dirty rags, family. God don't care about what kind of clothes you put on. He care about that gentle that meek, that love, that generosity, that kind heart, that sweetness that you would carry in your heart. That's what he cares about, family. You can get dolled up on how you looking, but you still look like a dirty rag to y'all, family. They got dressed up. It took them a whole hour to get dressed. They went outside and they're still filthy, family. They're still filthy. The brother, he worked all night long, family. You know what I'm saying? He's dirty. He's funky. He's stank, family. He go outside to y'all. He's clean, family. He's smelling like a bed of roses, family. Family, she just got off her shit, family. She is funky, family. I'm sorry, family. She used the odor and everything, but she works really hard, family. You know what I'm saying? She got all that dirt on her body from the, the job and plastic and, and fiberglass. All that stuff is all that she she's sweaty, family. She went outside to God. She looks like a dandelion, family. She smells like a bed of roses, family. Don't worry about the jewelry you put on your body, the clothes you put on your body. Worry about what you put inside of your heart. And the only way you can put something inside of your heart is for you to humble yourself, to walk meekly, to walk in love, to have charity for somebody else besides from yourself. I feel bad when I when I don't get a chance to help somebody, family. I'm I'm, I'm just being honest with you, family. You know what I'm saying? I, I get mad because I just missed the blessing because I didn't get a chance to help that person. Each day I go out, you know, at least two to three people ask me for help. Sir, 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 Mr. 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 Sir, sir. And I help, family. I stop what I'm doing, family. It, it doesn't really matter what I'm doing, family. Because, you know, the Lord, he wants you to go to extra mile, family. He wants you to go to extra mile. So I help, family. And... Check this out, family. I received something that nobody can pay you for, family. It, it, it's the best feeling in the world that you can't pay nobody. You can't, you can't, you would have to give somebody a million dollars for them to feel that good, family. You would have to write them a check for $500,000 for them to feel that good about themselves. And all they did was put somebody else over themselves. That's all they did, family. That's all they did in the, oh, sir, I'll help you with that. Don't worry about it. Oh, miss, I'll help you with that. Don't worry, but I ask people all the time, do they need my help? And they be like, nah, we got it. We cool. You know what I'm saying? And I go on about my business. But it still feels so damn good to try to help somebody, family. Okay, move. Let's move it forward. So, so what, what else? He don't care about your hair, girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, brother, he doesn't even care about your hairstyle like that. It means nothing to him. You know what I'm saying? Sister... Brother, you got all that damn jewelry. It looks nice and everything like that. But God doesn't care about that. He would rather you. What, what did the scripture say again? Your beauty should not come from the outwardly adornment such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry of fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of gentleness, quietness. Okay, I messed up. Unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. So some of your brothers and some of your sisters, they look like diamonds and rubies and golds and emeralds walking down the street. Family, can you believe this? Family, topaz, everything. Family, sapphire and everything. Family, they shine and hallelujah. Throw your hands in the air for you know you are blessed by Yah himself. Family, the great God of the heavens and the earth. Family, some of your people, family, is they walking down the street. They straight diamonds, family. Diamonds, they are shining, family. And then some of them people walking down the street, they're clean, family, but they got dirty Filthy rag zone, family. So what do you want, family? What do you want, family? You more cared about what the people look at your clothes? You care, or do you care about how God is looking at you? You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a suit on. You know what I'm saying? What is you wearing? You know what I'm saying? And some of your brothers and sisters, they got topaz and onyx and crystals and emeralds and diamonds and gold and silver. They got all that stuff shining. And then you got some of your other brothers. They look like a bucket of chitlins walking down the street, family. 
I don't think you heard me, family. They look like a bucket of chitlins walking down the damn street, stinking and everything, family. So what do you want, family? What do you want? Do you want something that's going to fade away? Them clothes ain't going to last forever. Or do you want that goodness put in your heart that will last forever, family? What do you want? Okay, moving forth, that was Peter chapter 3, verses 3. Okay, we can go down to Colossians. Okay, therefore, as God chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Now, it's a lot of people who would say, you know, I'm chosen by Yah. I'm chosen by Yah. Yah loves me, family. The, the evidence of the spirit, family, is quite evident, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying the evidence of the spirit is quite evident, family. And you have all of I love God. I love God. But brother, he he said he loved God, but he's not gentle. He's a liar. You know what I'm saying? Sister said that she loved Yah, but she don't have no patience for you. She's a liar. You know what I'm saying? Brother up over there said that he loved Yah, but he has no compassion. He's a liar. You know what I'm saying? Sister up over there says that. She love Yah, but she ain't got no kindness, family. Test the spirit, family. Test the spirit. It is so many different people that are sit up there. I go to church every Sunday. You know, I fast three times a week. You know, I give up all my money and all that. But they ain't got no love. They ain't got no peace. They ain't got no compassion. They ain't got no joy. They don't have no evidence showing that they're bearing the fruit, family. They, they don't have it. They don't have no evidence, family. The evidence should be joy. The evidence should be love. The evidence should be a meek heart, family. They don't have any of those things, family. So what do you do? You give them as much love as you can and you keep it pushing, family, because you don't have to operate with with those spirits, family. You do not have to, family. You don't have to have those spirits in your life, family, being assembled with you, family. You do not, family. Now, I just proved something to you, family. All of those people who said they love God and they ain't got no patience and they ain't got no compassion and they ain't got no kindness, they are liars, family. If you love God, family, you're going to have all these things, family. What did the scriptures say in Colossians again? Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and, you know, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm born again, I'm born again. Ah, family, she ain't got no compassion. Uh, he ain't got no humility. Uh, she ain't got no gentleness. And he dang sure he ain't got no patience. What does the scripture say again? Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. That is an action, family. That's that's you taking it upon yourself to do something to get a result, family. It, it is not it's not the kingdom of God, even though it comes freely. Family, you got to work for it, family. You know what I'm saying? It takes an action, family. Okay. God has given everybody the, the word of God. Everybody is, Yah has given everybody the same opportunity to get into Zion. But, okay, I can sit here and say that he's giving you that chance freely. But at the same time, family, it comes with an action, family. To, to prove yourself to God, you, it's an action that you have to show him, family. Faithfulness, that's an action, family. To be kindness, family. That's an action, family. To be uh, gentle hearted. That's an action, family. To be a quiet spirit, family. These are all actions that he want us to do, family, that he want us to dis display in our everyday lives, family. So once more again, what, what was written? Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Okay, moving forth, we're going down to the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 4. Humility is the face, I'm sorry, humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. Can you imagine that God will bless you with all of that, family? For anybody to be humble, family, that's humility, family. They have to fear God, family. For Okay, now, if a man is not willing to humble himself, if a woman cannot humble themselves at all, family, I don't care what the situation was in the neighborhood, at the grocery store, at the mall, in the traffic, in the streets. I don't care, family. If that individual 
cannot humble themselves and talk and act in humility. They do not fear God. OK, now flip it. Because some people would like to say, you judging, you judging, you judging Jehoshaphat. But this is what the scriptures say. You can't, you can, you can fight with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm only flesh. You, you can't fight with this scriptures because he is eternal, family. He sets the bar, family. He made all the rules, family. It's up to us to follow them, family. That's that once more again. And action, family. It's up to us to enact these judgments. Now, what, what will the great Yah, the Lord of hosts, the great God of the heavens and the earth, the God of mercy, the God of peace, the God of understanding, what will he usher into your life if you are willing to walk in humility? What will he do for you, family? He's willing to give you riches and honor and life, family. Them people rob from themselves, family. They, family, once more again, what, what did the scripture say? Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. So you see them people, they make some good wages now, family. I don't know about that. You see them people up over there, they got some riches, family. I don't know how long they can keep it, family. You see some of them people up over there, they men and women are honoring them. I don't know how long that's going to last. Family, they're alive now. But how long is that going to last? Your, last? your father has promise to you in, in Proverbs family to give you riches and give you honor and give you extra life only if you can humble yourself family all them brothers and sisters on the block squawking like some chickens and 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 sitting over there barking at each other's like some damn dogs family they don't have any humility family I don't have to call them black demons and black dragons and scorpions and lions and hyenas and scorpions and, and snakes. And I don't even have to say all of that, family. I'm just telling you, family, that whatever they, whatever they have, they can't keep it. What um, the things that they want, they only can keep it for so long. And they life itself, family. It's no telling, family. How much life is he going to give him when he's promising to give you, my brother? He's promising to give you, my sister, extra more life if you can only humble yourself before people. OK, moving forward, because we've been here for a whole hour now and I haven't even got off this page, family. This is just one page, family. I still got two more pages and, and this is just one sit down of preaching and gospel and ministering and teaching of the spirit, family. But. It's just so much work. I, I I just I'm thankful that I'm here, family. I just got so much I have to do, family, in this work. OK, if you can go down to the book of Peter, chapter five, verse six, humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. Like I said before, family, everybody needs a hand to lift up, family. Them, it's a lot of people that are mighty low, family, that will always be at the bottom and they don't humble themselves, so they'll always be at the bottom, family. But you, my brother, you, my sister, my moms, my dads, my aunties, my uncles, my nieces, my nephews, my cousins out there in this world, family, you're going to need to be lifted up. It's, you can't. We're children of the Most High Yah. We can't stay at the bottom forever, family. Everything has a season, family, and that season you was at the bottom. But them people in their life, they'll never come out of that, that, that season of their life, family, because they're not willing to... Humble themselves, family. They and, and you know with humble, it takes love, it takes kindness, it takes meekness, it's gentleness. All of these concepts are wrapped up on one concept, which is to be humble. Humility, family. And they're going to have a time to where they're going to need somebody to pull them out of the quicksand. They're going to need somebody to throw them a life jacket and, and reach out into the ocean and grab them and pull them in the boat, family. They're going to need somebody to throw them a life line off to the side of that damn mountain so he can climb himself back up, family. He's going to fall to the jagged edges of death, family, if nobody didn't throw over, over that extra rope, family. Some of them people will always be at the bottom, family. Because they're not willing to humble themselves, family. Now, I can sit here and tell you that it's another level under that. And they're going to be knocked down another level. But I'm more worried about you, my brother, you, my sister, because life itself, you already born. You live in this world. You already in trouble. And by you being born, life is going to knock you down, family. God is promising that every time life knocks you down, you already in trouble. We ain't talking about your problems, family. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to be doing no sinning so we can have some more problems. We are already in trouble. You know what I'm saying? People get so mad at me when I tell them that. Oh, Jehovah, I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. You, you, you in 
family, you in trouble and you're going to have some problems too. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, they're they not even listening to what I'm saying. They're already in trouble. And then they're causing problems for themselves through their sin, family. Oh, no, family. Oh, no, family. We ain't got to give in, family. So what, what was written, family? Okay, we talked about humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. Oh, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Most High Yah. Thank you. If we can just humble, if my brothers and my sisters can just humble themselves, you have promised to give them better wages, to give them riches, and to give them honor, and to give them more life. If they can, un if they can only, if they can only serve family, serve family, serve family. Your master, when he came to here, family, he, he was serving everybody, family. I don't know if you know about Yahshua. You call him Jesus Christ. When Jesus came, he was serving everybody, even though he's the son of Yah, family. Everything in the whole universe belongs to him, and he still would serve other people. What does that say that we have to do, family? Moving. Well, you know, Jehoshua, I ain't going to be humble. I ain't going to serve nobody. I'm going to get what I'm going to get, and that's how it is, Jehoshua. That's what it be like. All right. All right. You, family, you got two legs now. How long are you going to be able to keep them? I'm just saying, family, you got two legs now and you're standing. How long? You know what I'm saying? How long? You only got so much time to have a prideful, boastful heart. It's no different than, than, than sin, family. The wickedness that a man or a woman are given to is only so much that he will allow you to do before he do something to you, family. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Then you see him over at the hospital, family. Now you see him on crutches, family. Now you see him. He ain't got no car no more, family. Now you see her and she out living on the streets in a cardboard box, family. You know what I'm saying? He, he was married. Now he's divorced, family. You know what I'm saying? And she got all of his stuff, family. Paying alimony and everything, family. It's a damn shame, family, because I said all these things, but tomorrow... It's going to be a gang of Hebrews outside not being humble and God is going to cut them, family. You think I'm playing, family? They're going to get cut, family. He wants to cut you, family. I thought God was ever so loving and God. It's not necessarily that he's going to pull out the knife and cut you. He he threw the knife out in the world like a boomerang, family. It's going to find you. And it's going to find you and it's going to cut you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's going to find you and it's going to cut you, sis. I hope you're listening. I don't care. I don't care. Somebody soon to get cut tomorrow. I should have been listening to us and told me that y'all want to cut me. See, she should have been listening. It's too late for that. You know what I'm saying? This is a damn shame, family. I've been preaching for a long time, family, for a long time, family. And I'm not just talking about the Internet, talk, family. I'm talking about real world, family, the real world, family. And I've been preaching out in the world, family. And it seems like when I when I tell them, family, when I, <laughs> when I tell them it goes in one ear, then goes out the other. Then I look at my poor brother and whatever I told him, that's what happened to him. I, I gave him the heads up, family. They cannot sit here and say, family, that the word didn't come to him. They could not say that he didn't send a messenger to them in their time of need. He sends us a messenger through our friends, our family, our associates. Or is he going to speak directly into your mind and your heart and tell you the truth? To give you that stability to stand on the reassurance of his truth. Okay, moving forward. Okay, we 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 preached over that. Uh, Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Everybody going to have a time where God going to have family. Everybody needs to be redeemed. Everybody. Everybody needs to be healed. Everybody needs him to give them a miracle. Everybody needs Yah to show them a sign, family. Everybody needs his healing hands, his miraculous healing hands to heal a body, family. Everybody needs this periodically throughout the courses of our life. Now, if God is not willing to lift you up in due, in due time, he's telling you, you got a time. Well, you're going to be down. You're going to be under the bridge. You're going to be at the, the bottom of the mountain. You're going to be at the bottom of the cliff. I want to lift you up. But the only way I can lift you up out of that are if, if you're willing to humble yourself. A lot of people, they too hard. A lot of people think they too cute. A lot of people think they got too much money. A lot of people think that they so damn smart that they do not have to humble themselves, family. And they're going to be down that ditch, family. I'm telling you this. Brother, are you listening? Sister, are you listening to me? You see them? They look good now, family. But they're going to be dirty, 
filthy rags kicked over a side in that ditch if they are not willing to humble themselves to show humility family the strength of being sweet family they know nothing apart it went right over their head family okay moving forward if you can go down to the book of matthews chapter 11 verse 29 take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your soul for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and, and then you wonder why the people have the roughest, toughest lives. Family, why? Jehosa, brother, why? 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 Why I see my brothers and they always have the roughest, toughest life? Because they didn't want to take Yeshua's yoke, family. They thought that they could go outside in this world, family. And, you know, this world is a, is a vicious animal family it's vicious family it seeks to, it seeks for blood family it, it don't have to heat your body up it's gonna eat you cold family you know what i'm saying it's a vicious animal family those who don't take part in humbling themselves by taking the yoke of yashua you call him jesus christ taking your jesus yoke and putting it over their neck so they can have I don't even want to say a sensibility, but for them to have the reinsurance of everything that the Lord promised that he would do for us. If we can just humble. Yeshua is humble, family. He is family. If we was all sitting in a circle and we was all talking, Yeshua would wait till everybody said they peace. Then he would say what he had to say, family. You know what I'm saying? If my grandmama was walking out the store and she was struggling with some groceries, Yeshua would go over there and help her with them groceries, family. If them two sisters was about to get into a fight and they was, yeah, 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 Yeshua would go over there and talk to them, them sisters and calm them down, family. He wants us to be humble. But the reason why some of us will live the most estranged lives where everything is just terror at all sides, always inflicting them is because they don't want to be as they Lord is. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. But I told you the fruit is evident, family. The spirit is evident, family. Are they being humble, family? Are they being gentle, family? Do they have love, family? They don't have any of those things, family. So that should ser that should tell you that they are either serving themselves or are they serving the world, family. They either care about more about what the world or are they serving themselves, family. So once more again, the Lord, he wants us to take from his yoke. Your life won't have to be so hard if you if you take. I'm not saying that family life is hard, family, but life would get a whole lot easier, family. If you take from his yoke, because you will know what you're facing in life. It doesn't change family. Whatever Yeshua's yoke that you that you learn in your life, your new walk in, in Yeshua, you call him in your new walk in Christ, family, your new walk, the new man, the new woman that you are. You'll learn where the, the, the hard part or something that you would think that would be a burden in the yoke. But you will overcome it because what he say, my, my yoke is not that hard. You know what I'm saying? He wants us to live a, a easier life, family. But without him, family, we're going to hit them bricks. Yes, family. What, what, without Yahshua, we're going to hit that dusty road that drops off into a ravine, family. We're going to fall, family. If family, if we don't walk with him family we're going to be walking through the needles and the briars get cut up family on all sides family and that's just life family that's just life family remember how i was telling you that you're born in trouble well yeshua he wants to get you he's you already in trouble family you already in trouble but he doesn't want to see you go through that trouble he wants you to go through his walk family his walk and it's not like that family my life ain't hard like that family i know what yeshua's yoke is and every single thing that i would have to deal with and it's not like the rest of the people in this world getting beat down getting kicked down getting spit on by this world and everything is all turbulent and it's always something new they don't know what the hell is going to happen family they know they don't know what's going to happen but if you put on this yoke you'll know what to ha you'll know what's going to happen but it's up to you to figure out how you gonna slide across that family straight slip and slide family skates and everything family how you gonna how you gonna direct your your actions to get through that at least you have options family them people ain't got no damn options they're just gonna get uh bit by the rabbit dog with rabies family and you know family they don't have to take them 21 shots in the stomach family to kill that rabies device 
Same thing with them in their life, family. They're going to get bit by that rabbit dog, family, with rabies, family. Yeah, sure don't want to see you getting bit by no damn dog with rabies, family. But if you don't take on his joke, it's gonna be, you're going to have to endure the hard life. What did the Lord say again? And we was in Matthew chapter 11, verse 29. Yeah, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Family, you still got burdens, family. You know what I'm saying? You still got burdens. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm telling you. But it's light because you'll know what to do. You'll know how to overcome those things. When them people with problems and it be a, a, a category five tornado knocking down their door, it is nothing that they can do, family. There's no options of turning to the left or turning to the right or going straight forward. They don't have any options. They just going to get snatched up by that damn tornado. And wherever they land, that's where they land, family. They're going to have to deal with it. Your master don't want you to go through all of that. But he wants you to be as he is to take from his yoke to be gentle and to be humble and to have love coming out your heart for you to be rest in your soul, family. Them people, they'll always be torn up, family, like a like a like the sea before a storm, family, waves going all over the place, family. They don't have no stability under their legs, family. They don't know what's going to happen, family. But when you serve your master, he gives you ways out. He gives you confirmation. He tells you a whole lot of different stuff of information. He even cuts down pathways and make the crooked straight in your life. Only he can do that, family. Can't nobody else do that for you. Not your preacher, not your mama, not your daddy, not your uncles. You know what I'm saying? The church, the, the, can't nobody do that for you but the Lord, family. Okay, now if you can move down to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2. Before a downfall, the heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. Can you believe that, family? When they be at they, they stage in their life to where they're so haughty. What do you mean, Jehosa? What do you mean? They think they stuff don't stink. They think they always right. They think they ain't doing nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Hati. Hati. You can't tell them nothing. You know what I'm saying? No. You do it like this. No, I do it all the way that I damn well. Please, I want to do it. You can't tell me nothing. Hottiness. That's haughty, family. You can't tell them nothing. They know everything. Now, what did the scripture say? Before a downfall, the heart is haughty, but humble humility comes before honor. Your father, he wants to honor you, family. He's going to honor you throughout. As long as you stay humble, sister, as long as you stay humble, brother, God is going to honor you in front of people. But all of them people before they fall, you're going to look at them and you're going to be like, man, that's a boastful person. They really don't care. You know what I'm saying? And then you see them fall, family. It happens every single time. OK, I can put my name and initial on this page. Hold on. And I know, family, I'm sorry, family, we're not going to get in, get in the chance to get into Isaiah and King Hezekiah today. I'm sorry, family. I tried, family. And what's today? Hold on, family. Let me make sure I can see what today is. Today is the 5th. It's Wednesday the 5th. Okay, it's Wednesday the 5th, 2021. Okay. Thank, thank you for waiting for me. I love y'all. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer warriors. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer healers. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer saints. Come get your stuff. Oh, they raced all my, all my, all my, what you call it? That's messed up, family. I had all my, my, what you call it on point. That's messed up. Come get yourself some of this nine o'clock prayer hour. Now, family, we do this from Monday night, which is the beginning of our week, all the way to Sabbath Eve, which is Friday night. Family, come get yourself. Come get yourself. Come get yourself some of this nine o'clock prayer hour. Family, come give us your five. Come give us your 10. Come give us your 15 minutes, family, and it will change your surrounding. It will change the people that is in, in your world. It will change your life if you can come humble yourself and get caught up in this whirlwind of the spirit, family. Come get caught up in the spirit with your brothers and sisters across this whole world that's humbling ourselves in prayer to pray for those outside of our own selves, family, to pray for the sick disease that's in this world. Pray over every family. We be praying over everything family everything family name something family you can't even name something family but i tell you this at the nine o'clock prayer hour i'll be praying that your father give us a brand new heart and a 
and a brand new spirit to love him. A brand new heart. He said he would give us a heart of flesh because he said our heart is like a rock. It ain't no good. And I'm talking to so-called African-American people. He said that he would have to change our whole spirit of family from the evil that we be doing. But it's OK, family. It's all right, family, because we already paid double of what we had to pay. Remember what I was teaching you last time? Those scriptures came from God. You know what I'm saying? He was telling you something. Now, I wasn't saying anything. He was talking to you through the scriptures. You're not listening to him. We already paid for slavery in this country. And all. We already paid. We paid double. He said in his word that he has done everything that he possibly can do to us. Bad family. We don't have nothing bad like that headed towards our way for us because there is nothing that he did not do to us. Family. Look at slavery in this country and all the things that he allowed to happen to us. Family. We don't have to go to Mesopotamia. We don't have to go to Assyria. We don't have to go to Meek Persia. We don't have to go to any of those places just here in America, family. Look at all the things that he let happen to us, family. He said that he paid us double, family. He said that there's nothing else that he could do to us like that no more. We already paid for it, family. Jehoshaphat with the good news. But back on the nine o'clock prayer hour, family, come get yourself some family. Come get your five, your 10, your 15 minutes. All right, family, if you can come for 15 minutes, then bless your heart, family. You've been caught up in the spirit. Pray for your family. Pray about the sickness that's in this world through the evil, wicked heart of man. Pray about all the different situations that your family might be in. You know, I got to say it, family. If you, we going to be praying for us. We're going to be praying for you and we're going to be praying up together. Hallelujah, family. Now, moving to the next one. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer healers. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer warriors. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer saints. You in our hearts and we love you. Keep on coming. You know what I'm saying? It will grow on you. I'm telling you this, family. It's like planting a seed, family. A good one, not a wicked one. Okay, now moving forth, if you can go to the book of Micah. Now, he has shown you, O mortals, what's good and what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humble with your God. Now, God, he already showed man what goodness is for me to sit here and say that. I don't know what righteousness is. It's saying that the Holy Spirit didn't do his job. And that's blasphemous, family. I couldn't do that, family. Everybody knows what right is wrong. You could play crazy all day long. You could play crazy evil all day long. But everybody, God has already shown man what is good. You know what I'm saying? What is good and what is evil? It is on us. But in this scripture, he is asking us to act justly, to have mercy, to walk humbly. Just like he is. He wants us to be as he is, family. What you mean, Jehoshaphat? Your, your Lord is righteous, family. We probably can't be righteous, but it's our job to be good, family. Your, your God have a forgiving spirit, family. He wants us to forgive people, family. Your God shows mercy to people. He wants us to show mercy, family. Your, your Yah has a great heart to love everybody. Some of them people, they think, they think, family, that them other people not even good enough to love them. So they'll never be their friend. They'll never try to talk to them. And they'll curse themselves in the process, family. They will, family. They will curse themselves in the process. Your God wants you to be as he is, family. What you mean, Jehoshaphat? What you mean? He wants you to have a just. He wants you to act justly, family, to have love, to have mercy, family, to be humble, family. Let's go down to the book of Corinthians chapter one. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. What does that mean, Jehoshaphat? What does that mean? Now, you humbling yourself. God is going to pick you, family, and he's going to use you like a sword. He's going to use you like a shield. He's going to use you like a bow and arrow because he can use you. The other people in this world, family, he can't use them, family. And every single thing that they're doing that's not so good, he's going to use your sword to knock those things down, family. He uses the base things, things that don't nobody like, things that are not look good, things that are despised to, to take things out that are, family, or to bring something in this world that is not, family. So 
men and women that are prideful. He cannot use them to do anything. Family, what can he do with them? Family, he can't he can't create nothing out of them. He can't make no good thing come out of them. You understand? Know what, what can he do with them? But you, my brother, you, my sisters, in your hands is new creations that he will create in your hand to bless this world with that it has never seen. He can use you, family, to promote and demonstrate love in a dark world. Family, he said that we are the light, family. We're the light, family. We're the light that's in this dark world, family. It is our job to shine, family. I don't want my brothers and sisters looking and acting and speaking like this world, family. I want you to step apart and shine your light because wherever you are, it's real dark. And you're the only thing that's lighting it up over there, brother. You know what I'm saying, sister? Are you hearing me? You know what I'm saying? It's mighty dark on that side of the world because you're the only light that's over there. You know what I'm saying? Being consumed in his passion of his righteousness for you to be humble. A lot of people, they're more worried about what's on the TV. They're more worried about the entertainment. They're more worried about what they said and how they feel and what they're going to do and what they said on the radio and what was on the Internet and what was in the last movie. That's, that's all they care about, family. He can't use them, family. What did he say? He, God chooses the lowly things of this world and the despised things. And the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. God don't want God don't want nobody boasting. Oh, it's my job. Oh, I got the job. And yeah, I'm the reason why oh, I, I, I got certified and the reason I got my, my CCL truck driver's license. I did that. I did that. I got my boat license. Family, they can't give him no glory in anything. Family, they did everything. Family. Just like the video I showed y'all a long time ago, it was Snoop Dogg and he was at some awards show and he was all like, I, I thank me for this. I thank me. I give glory to me. I give glory to me. Family, once more again, Snoop Dogg probably be one of them evil people that last to the end. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody can be like him, family. You know what I'm saying? Can not everybody can be evil with the Snoop. I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying. Only a couple of evil ones that make it to the end, family. I wouldn't be surprised, family, out of all the ones. You didn't see all these rappers and all these people from the old school. They're not here, family. They're dropping off, family. That's what I'm saying to you, family. God doesn't let wicked stay around like that, family. He sweeps it up like a broom right out the door. And the doorway is the earth, family. Okay, where was we at? Brother, you've been despised your whole life. Sister, you've been despised your whole life. That's why he's working in you, family, to nullify these things in the world. Don't think that people are not watching you. Don't think that people are not listening to you. Don't think that people are not persuaded by the goodness of that burning flame that the Lord put inside of you to act right. He uses this to nullify the things that are in this world that mean nothing to him. Quite detestable and abominable in his very nations that he despises, family. He uses people like me and you that walk humble and have a heart, family, and not scared to love, family. Okay, moving forward. Now it's Corinthians. Let's go down to the book of Peter's chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, all of you be like-minded. Be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and be humble. Family, let me ask you a question, family. How much would this world change if if people in the United States just did that, family? I'm not going to put that burden just on so-called African-American people, the house of Judah. I'm not going to put that all on our shoulders. But how much, family, would this world change? If we just did, if we if everybody did what Peter said, that God said that we needed to be doing what he say, Jehovah, what he say. Finally, all of you be like minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. How much would this world change, family? All them people, family, if they was just willing to humble themselves before you, family, they stay too caught up on their own selves. Family, once more again, personalized deity. They have become their own Elohim family. It's a damn shame, family. Moving forward. So you, my brother, and you, my sister, that's what he wants from you. He wants you to have love. Them chicken heads down the street don't want you to have no love like that. Brother, he wants you to have a compassionate spirit. He wants you. Them, them, them knuckleheads down the street, brother, they ain't got no compassion towards nobody. That's why they won't never have anything. You know what I'm saying? Sister, he wants you to be humble like that. 
Brother, he wants you to be sympathetic. He wants you to feel pain inside of your heart. That stuff didn't even happen to you. I'm just saying, they said, brother said his auntie died and you felt sad about it. That's how he wants us to be. Sister, she said that she got an eviction notice and she don't know what she going to do. You actually felt sorry about that and you tried to help that girl. That's what he wants from us, family. How much would the world change if we just had those, those things, family? How much, family? How much would it change, family? It's a damn shame, family. It's a damn shame. Moving forth, if you can go down to the book of James. Chapter 3, verse 13. Who is wise and understanding amongst you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Once more again, family, once more again, this is an action. People can say people can worship God with their heart all day long. It doesn't mean anything. God wants to show you through. He wants you to show him the action of your love by obedience through the courses of your whole life. You know what I'm saying? You can't get to the end of the. You can't get halfway there and be like, oh, yeah, I'm 50 now. I was serving. I don't know if I can serve you no more. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I served you for 25 years. Yeah, that was good enough. Uh-uh, family. We got to run a good race, family. We have to stay faithful unto death, family. You know what I'm saying? We got to love God from now all the way till you die. You cannot be fake with God. You cannot lie to him. You know what I'm saying? You can't mislead him. You can't do any of those things, family. So what was written? Who is wise and understanding amongst you? Let them show it by their good life. By deeds done and and the humility that comes from wisdom, family. The only way you can make a good choice on anything, family, is for you to be humble, family. Then people make so many different bad decisions because they rush in with their attitude and being confused, being angry, being mad. You know what I'm saying? There they ain't nothing humble. Dude. Ain't nothing about humble about them, family. But my brother and my sister up over there, they took their time to calm themselves down, family. To be humble, to be patient, to be calm. And that alone gave them the sensibility to make a good decision, family. So many people will mess up, family, and have bad things happen to them in their life just by them not humbling themselves. Now, our father wants us to show these great deeds. Now, you know, your brother, Jehoshaphat Israel, I'm good for telling you to stack up your treasures on this earth because I want to see you balling in heaven, family. People are people don't understand, family. You can have your heaven. You can you can have your heaven right now family if you want it family and we're not talking about family I, I hate to take us off sidetrack but i just had to say one one thing family now now that they got the nas x what rupaul gonna do family the devil don't need them no more family you get the now family now you get to watch the devil throw away people family i'm saying i'm just saying to you family the devil can only use a person so much family Remember, just like I was telling you, it's only so much good, only so much evil you can do. Family, look at RuPaul, family. Look at the agenda that he's been promoting for the last 25 years, family. The devil don't need him anymore, family. He got the Nas X and he's, he's twerking on, on, on Satan in hell, family. You know what I'm saying? What, is the, what, is, what does the devil need him? Though? And what, a, what did your brother tell you? When the devil is finished with you, he'll discard you and throw you away. Now you get to see the, this rich person and this man that has this doctrine that's deceiving so many different young men to get them tricked into doom to go to hell. Now you get to see the devil rip him down off of power and then you get to see him cast down on the ground as a useless, dirty rag, family. I kid you not, family. Okay, going back to what we're saying, I'm sorry to get off track, family. I'm sorry. I just had to say it, family. It was burning on me, family. It was, family. When the devil is finished with you, he'll throw you away, family. If you think I'm lying, just watch RuPaul, family. It's a, the devil got Nas X now, family. He doesn't need RuPaul anymore, family. God always uses good. God will never throw us in the garbage can. God will never be all like, oh, well, you know, I don't need Tina no more. Uh-uh. He's just going to keep on sharpening Tina, and he uses Tina for a certain job. That's what it is, family. God uses us like a like like we're family, children of God. We're we're like in a tool. I got a certain specific job. Like I'm a five eight. He God he don't need God needed a five eight. He don't need a six eight. You know what I'm saying? He need a five eight to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Children of God, we're like tools, family, in his toolbox, family. He'll never discard us. He'll never throw us away. But the devil, when he's finished with you, he will discard you as trash as 
filthy rags. Okay, moving forward. We was back at, yeah, we was at James. I told you, family. I preached on the humility. He wants you, family. Okay, now, if you can go down to John chapter 13, verse 3. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given him all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from super, he led aside his, his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water in the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towels that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you do do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, what I am doing, you do not understand. But afterwards, you will understand. So what am I saying? What am I saying? Jesus, he wants you to be like he is. He wants you to serve family. He wants you to be humble family. A lot of the treasures that God unlocks for us in this life, not the next life after family, not the forever family and this life. It's a lot of secret treasures that he unlocks family for us. We're not talking about his mercy family because you get all of that too. We're not talking about his grace family. We're not talking about his healing family, but these treasures family that he unlocks for us to have if we are only able to humble ourselves family, to humble ourselves. Your, your master, he served other people family. It wasn't just about he wasn't conniving. He wasn't conceited. He just wasn't about his self family to to obtain those treasures. And I, and I told you a million times before, they don't have to take a physical form of monetary gain. They, they do not family. They could be the filling that you could never pay for. They could be the joy that he will put on you, family, that will make you feel so good inside about your actions. Family, you think I'm playing family? I helped a little old lady last week, family. I'm still bragging about it to the most high y'all because it, it makes me feel so good inside to know I was willing to help that lady. You know what I'm saying? A gift given to us. You cannot buy this, family. You cannot take gold and get this feeling that he is willing to bless you with in your life. If you're willing to humble yourself, family. Feels so good, family. Feels so good. You just don't understand, family. Feels like a million dollar bill. I know it doesn't exist, family, but that's what it feels like to me, family. But the treasures, family, that he is willing to unleash on your life if you're willing to humble yourself before the sons and daughters of men. OK, moving forward. OK, yep, that was John chapter 13, verse three. If we can go back, let's go back to Peter. Chapter five, verse five, likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders, clothe yourself all of you with humility towards one another. For Yah opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Can you imagine that family? Anybody, what, what did the scripture say? Yah opposes. He opposes the pride. He 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 puts the, the prideful man and woman down, family. They walking with their head all up in the air, acting like they stuff don't stink, family. He's going to grab their head, family, and knock it right in the sand, family. Remember, he doesn't take a joy off of this, family. He already sent his knife out. He, he sent his nunchucks out, family. He, he shot his bullets out. He shot his bow and arrows out. He shot his flames. He shot all of that stuff out. It travels around the whole world at least two times a day, family. You know what I'm saying? At least four times a day, all of his weapons of mass destruction travel around this world looking for people. You know what I'm saying? Looking to do stuff stuff to people. So he might not take a pleasure in seeing this happen to a person. Probably doesn't he, he doesn't take no pleasure in that family, but it's still going to happen to a man or a woman nonetheless, family. So what what did he say? He said he's going to he's going to oppress the person that's prideful, family. Look at all them people that's prideful. They're prideful today. They're going to be oppressed tomorrow, family. But what is he willing to give to you, family? 
What is he willing to give to you if you're willing to humble yourself, family? He's willing to give you his grace, family. He will give you your grace, family, so your life doesn't have to be so hard. Those things that you're trying to get, you will get those things because the grace is on your life. Those things that you're trying to accomplish in your life, you will be able to do it because his grace is over your life. OK, moving down and family, I'm not just trying to run out of here. The only thing I didn't get a chance to do in this sit down was I wrote, you know what I'm saying? I wrote, I wrote something because I'll do it next time, family. I, I don't I, We've been going for a whole hour. Last one, last one here. And I'll and I'll bless you. And, you know, you know, family, you want to do something for your brother. Jehoshaphat is real. You know, you come to the nine o'clock prayer. I'll get your prayer. On, hallelujah. Come get your praise on, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Come get your 5, 10, 15 minutes. You know your brother said, I'm cheesing, family. I love you, family. Come get yourself. Come get yourself some of this, family. All to yourself, family. All to yourself. You know what? Tell somebody else. You want to do something for me? Tell somebody else about it, too. So, the, your loved ones, the ones that you know that be praying, pull them to the side. Uh, well, you know, Josephine, you know, you be praying all the time, girl. You know, sister, I love you. Why don't you come with us in spirit at 9 o'clock and pray? You want to do something for me, family? You want to do something for me? You know what I'm saying? Come to the 9 o'clock and pray hour. You know what I'm saying? Just tell somebody about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's be up in the spirit, family. You ain't hurting nobody. Last one. Likewise, you. Oh, yeah. My bad. We still on Peter family. He it, it's all structure family. He wants people to have respect family. He wants the younger people to submit themselves to somebody that is that is worthy enough to be submitted to family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? He wants the younger people to have respect for their elders. That's off top family. That's off top. He wants younger people to respect their elders. The problem is that. I hate to say it, family, half of the elders don't deserve to be respected, just like half of the, the younger people, they don't need to be respected either, family, because they're not trying to do that, family. So you got to, OK, now he wants us to be respectful. OK, be respectful. This is true, family. But I go back to the book of Job, family, just because you just because you got gray hairs on your face doesn't mean you wise, family. I'm sorry. Just because you you're 50 and 60 and 70 years old doesn't mean you a wise person. Family, that's what that's what y'all said. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that. So if it's if it's one that is worth their worth, we all we all know. Yeah, he the only one who's worthy. I'm not saying that. But if it's one that is worthy enough, family, to to be subject under, you need to do that, family. You need to listen to them older people in your life. You need to have respect for your elders, family. Okay, last one. Okay. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by being obedient to the point of death, even to death on the cross. So to prove to God that you love him, family, you got to be you got to be faithful, humble and cherish him all the way to the day you die. You can't you can't one foot in, one foot back backsliding, backsliding. You can't be backsliding, you can't be wishy-washy, you can't be straddling the fence, you can't do any of those things, family. Those are fake people believing in a fake God, going to a fake church. That's not getting anything out of life, family. He wants you to serve the true God of Zion. The most high Yah family. He wants to be served family, but he's telling you that action is going to take you your whole life. Family, to pr if you want to prove something to the most high Yah, it's going to take you your whole lifetime to prove to him that you love him. Now, this has been your brother Jehoshaphat Israel here in the house that God has made. If all my brothers and sisters can put their hands to the high heavens, Father, we come to you humble in this day, grateful for all of your mercy, grateful for all of your long suffering, grateful for all the love that you have to give for us. Father, I ask all these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach. I ask that you bless the fruits of their minds, Father, my brothers and sisters in this world. I ask that you keep their minds seven steps ahead of any principality, any problem, any trouble that might come their way. Father, I ask that you bless the fruits of their body. Take away any pain, sickness, disease, 
inside of their body and give them the strength of when they used to run free in their younger days. For all of my brothers and sisters who have not felt your glory, of your presence, of your love, I ask that you knock them down, Father. I ask that you knock them down to reveal yourself, to show them how much power that you are, how much power that you have, for you have all power. There is nothing you cannot do, for you are a great God, for you are a mighty God, for you are a holy God. I ask that for their sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wife, that you cover them in the complete bosom of Yahshua HaMashiach, Father. I ask that you cover them in all of, of his blood, Father. I ask that you render down to them all your peace, all your mercy, all your blessings, all your grace, and all your favor be appointed to us. The things that's, that's been held back from us, mighty Yah great God of the heavens and the door of the earth. Father, I ask that you open the door on those things that was held back from me and my brothers and my sisters in this life, this love of this goodness of our master that you implanted inside of our heart to burn like a, a flame and a dying, cruel, dark world. I ask that it brings people, draw them in, great God, through our love of you, Yah, of our love of our master, to draw them into your truth. For there is only one God, Yah, the great God of the heavens and the earth. We bless your name, Father, and Yahshua HaMashiach name for you are worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All glory given to Yah. And thank you to all my brothers and sisters who have prayed for me. But like every time, family, he gave me the power. He gave me the strength, family. He put the words in my house and my mouth, family. I'll be right back, family. You know what I'm saying? He put the, he gave me the strength. He gave me the power. He put the words in my mouth, family. We'll be back, family. All glory be given to Yah. All glory given to Yah.